Africa. A continent cloaked in mysticism. Professed to be the dark jewel of the global village. And on her most southern tip, the people move to the beat of a different drum. A jovial nation in sync with the earth and her innate traits. researchers can access South Africa's assets through research and innovation programs and exploit their individual capacities collaboratively in an attempt to generate new knowledge related to fields of mutual interest. We have the southern skies, so astronomy is a geographical advantage. As you are aware, we have the Southern African Large Telescope where research is conducted and we are more recently bidding for the Square Kilometre Array project. We also have the Southern Oceans, where a number of uh, expeditions that take place in Marian Island are launched from South Africa. We also have paleosciences, and South Africa is known as a cradle of humankind, as you can see from our recent fossil finds. We also have a huge biodiversity in terms of our flora and fauna. So South Africa, in general terms, as a location to do research, is attractive not just to Europe, but to the rest of the world. Opportunities in research fields of international dimensions arise from research collaboration based on the availability and attractiveness of the programs. The project ensures that researchers are aware of research collaboration between Europe and South Africa by providing useful feedback to the South African-European Union Joint Science and Technology Committee. SACSIS is a project funded by the European Commission's Directorate General for uh, Research under the seventh framework program. Uh, it consists of a consortium of uh, five partners, Help Forward Forth from Greece that coordinates uh, the project, IRD from France, Upper from Italy, uh, Vinova from Sweden, and of course DST from South Africa. But one of the things we've realized is the best science development comes out of collaboration and that international collaboration is absolutely important and South Africa wouldn't be beginning today. We collaborated with the NASA uh, uh, scientists and astronomers uh, many many years ago so we've got an established tradition. DSD is a major partner in the project to market South African research and innovation programs in Europe and to tell Europeans about programs that they can participate in in South Africa. And so, as DST, we see this project as an opportunity for us to reciprocate what we have been getting from collaborating with Europe over the years. The NRF um, manages seven uh, such facilities uh, that uh, can be uh, clustered into uh, three different types. Uh, the first uh, being the nuclear cluster, uh, the second being the astronomy and geosciences cluster and the third being the uh, biodiversity conservation and environmental uh, observation uh, uh, cluster. Itemba Labs focuses on increased training, human resource development, international collaborations, especially with Africa, and the science and technology profile of South Africa. The South African Astronomical Observatory is the national center for optical and infrared astronomy in South Africa. Its prime function is to conduct fundamental research in astronomy and astrophysics by providing a world-class facility and by promoting astronomy and astrophysics. Through devising a vastly superior spherical aberration corrector and a variety of other innovations, SAAO has contributed to the high technology content of the Southern African Large Telescope. SALT has been designed to work at very short wavelengths, whereas these days there's a tendency to work at longer wavelengths in the infrared. We're specifically concentrating in an area uh, down to the atmospheric cutoff um, in the ultraviolet, which is fairly unique in, in telescopes in general, and in particular large telescopes. South Africa views biodiversity not only in plants and animals, 
but also in the economy and the lives of people at community level. This falls in line with current debates in South Africa, where matters of biodiversity have shifted beyond the sphere of conservation to include wider issues such as politics, economics and culture. Researchers in the field discuss the many ways in which conservation can contribute to economic growth. South Africa's National Zoological Gardens comply to the criteria of a national research facility. It generates projects on fundamental and applied research, data gathering through information analysis and technology development. When we work in South Africa, we know that we can work in regional programs and uh, our research can have impact not only in South Africa, but, but also in the neighboring countries. Of course, there are a number of collaborations that take place at the higher education institution levels. We have 23 universities in South Africa and a number of researchers collaborate with their European counterparts on a project-by-project -project basis. So we have um, direct bilateral projects with partners within the European Union. I mentioned ZSW, which is Solar Hydrogen uh, Research Grouping. Uh, we do work with them on fuel cells. And um, uh, we, we basically have lined up two-year projects where we build things together and, and we do exchange of research you know, and of knowledge in the projects themselves. As I say, when I arrived here from Italy, I was very pleasantly surprised by the quality of the facilities that are available, not only in the university, but in the different research centers. So I think, I really think that there is a lot of opportunities in, uh, in the country now to establish a very important collaboration and research activity with uh, Europe. The five-axis machining is um, ever increasing. It's been around for a number of years, probably over a decade, maybe even a decade and a half. But due to the, the high amount of students that we have in this industry, we can focus on different parts of the research and we can more in detail research specific areas to do with this, this type of project. I think what is very appealing as well is that the, the change that we can make in a country like South Africa or other African countries is so much more than what you can do overseas. Because the developed world has so many facilities already, the added value of your research is less than the added value in Africa. South Africa has very good capability in research and development facilities. We have universities that are performing very well in research, excellent science councils with good records. But what we need to do is lift this good performance to greater heights. And we also believe that we need to add an edge, which is innovation. There is a large number of info days um, that target European researchers and there's a database within our website which includes all the existing opportunities. As these synergies mature, the evolution of continental knowledge pledges to become constant and to conduct fundamental research, thereby providing world-class facilities for the sustainable development of the African gem.